At, at Equator, we have two 70 pound roasters that we use. But the way they roast is very different. Our Loring Smart Roaster uses a convection style heat, which means that the air is moving through the drum and it's penetrating the coffee bean and roasting it kind of from the inside out, as opposed to our San Franciscan Roaster, which is a conduction style of heat. And so it's roasting really from the outside in, and that can create very different flavor profiles, even for the same blend in the coffee. So, as a master roaster, the trick is to make those coffees taste the same, whether they're roasted on the San Franciscan or the Loring. So for the Loring, keeping in mind that the air is penetrating the coffee, we know that it can mute the acidity. It has the potential to mute the acidity. And so to counteract that, we drop the Loring coffees uh, on an average of eight degrees lighter than we would our San Franciscan roaster, even for the same coffee, because of how it reacts um, in, the, in the drum. And so there is a big difference on the different flavors. So the Loring roaster is really conducive to roasting espresso because it's kind of really providing a lot of body to the coffee and then kind of muting the acidity a little bit. So espressos can work out very well in our Loring roaster. With the San Franciscan roaster, because of the conduction heat, it can allow for a lot of acidity in the coffee. So coffees where we want to highlight the acidity, we'll typically use on the San Franciscan roaster. And when it comes to darker roasts, like a French roast,